Maybe he's singing to that man. What the hell? Hey everyone, welcome back to Screen Rant. Buckle up for a dive into the vast ocean of Star Trek lore, where we'll uncover the story of a forgotten hero and its surprising connection to a beloved film franchise. Today we're talking about Dr. Jillian Taylor, the cetacean expert from Star Trek IV, the voyage home and her lasting impact on the future of Starfleet. Star Trek IV, the voyage home is a cherished film. It's a humorous adventure that sees Kirk and his crew travel back in time to 1986 San Francisco to retrieve humpback whales for a critical mission. They encounter Dr. Jillian Taylor, a marine biologist dedicated to saving these magnificent creatures. I have a notorious weakness for hard luck cases, that's why I work with whales. We don't want to be in any trouble. You've already been that. While Dr. Taylor's role in the film is crucial, her story ends there. We don't see her in the future, leaving many fans wondering about her fate. But her impact on the future of Star Trek might be far greater than we realize. The recent animated series, Star Trek Prodigy, offers a surprising clue about Dr. Taylor's legacy. In one episode, the crew encounters a young humpback whale named Jillian, who possesses remarkable communication abilities. This seemingly small detail holds a significant meaning. The name Jillian for a technologically advanced whale hints at a connection to Dr. Taylor's work. The doctor's efforts to save the whales and educate the public about their intelligence might have inspired future generations. Cetacean ops, but don't these guys do navigation? Wait, what are we- Hey, Kimolo, Matt! Here's where things get truly fascinating. The existence of a Cetacean Ops division within Starfleet, hinted at in both Star Trek Lower Decks and Prodigy, adds another layer to the story. This division suggests that Cetaceans, like whales and dolphins, are no longer just subjects of study, but partners in exploration and communication. Dr. Taylor's dedication to understanding and advocating for whales might have paved the way for this future collaboration. Her work could have laid the foundation for the Cetacean Ops division, fostering a relationship between humans and these intelligent creatures. He's in a rest! We have to get him to sick bay! There's no time! <laughs> The impact of Dr. Taylor's story goes beyond just whales in space. It's a testament to the power of advocacy and the positive ripple effects that one person's dedication can create. Star Trek has always been about exploring the potential for a brighter future, and Dr. Taylor's legacy embodies that hopeful spirit. What do you think about Dr. Taylor's legacy and the potential for human cetacean partnerships? Well, that's all for now. Thanks for tuning in to Screen Rant, and we'll see you next time.